Today on Community Watch, we're talking with Joy Hambrick, who is the Chair of Business and Professional Studies at Georgia Highlands. You think business is pretty simple? No, 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 no. Highlands has bachelor's degrees, associate pathways, you won't believe it. You gotta listen to the show. Community Watch starts now. Welcome to Community Watch. I'm John Hershey, and I'm very happy to have with us today Joy Hambrick, who is the chair of, now we're so it's a, a fairly long title, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yes. You are yes. chair of, well, I just want to say business, but it's, but it's a longer title than that, isn't it? It is. It's business and professional studies, but you can just say business just to save time. A lot of people okay. do. Business and professional studies. Yes. All right. So, uh, that implies to me that they can throw a lot of stuff in there because professional studies sounds pretty big. It, c it can cover a lot of ground. Yeah. It certainly can. So kind of the catch-all like the junk drawer in your kitchen that you throw stuff in. <laughs> we can be that. You, except it's not junk. It's, it's quality yeah. stuff. It is. It is. Uh, and we're talking Georgia Highlands, of course. Uh, and one reason I was excited to have you on the show is that uh, the business area, business and professional studies, mm -hmm. has grown so much in the last few years. Mm -hmm. And uh, what some people don't realize who think of Georgia Highlands as strictly a two-year associate degree awarding college, right. we're much more than that now. Uh, and I think as of this morning, we have, I want to say, nine bachelor's degrees. Right. Uh, and then somebody told me there was a tenth one coming pretty mm -hmm. soon. And uh, so who knows how many there'll be by this afternoon. I mean, that's just... <laughs> that's uh, true. That's <laughs> so, true. Uh, Georgia Highlands has grown so much, but a, a large part of that growth, and I would guess, I don't know if they're the most popular of our bachelor's programs, but certainly among them mm -hmm. are our is it two bachelor's programs? It's two we have, okay. yes, yes. All right. I, I was afraid that there might have been three or four by the time I... Uh, <laughs> in the works, but... In the works. Not the works, official yeah. yet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what I want to do today is to give you an opportunity to kind of go through each of the degree options that we have in that area, okay. because uh, in addition to the two bachelor's programs, there's several we, we have our, the Associate uh, Business Administration uh, mm -hmm. uh, pathway that we've had for a long time, but there are some new ones too. There are, yeah. So uh, I know some of these are completely new to me, so I'll be learning uh, as well as the folks at home. Uh, so uh, where do you want to start? Bachelors at first? Let's start bachelors. All right. Let's, All let's right. stick with the, the old gangster bachelors that we have. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we have two bachelor's degrees now. Yes. Uh, and, and by that, I mean um, that students can begin at Highlands mm -hmm. and not have to transfer anywhere to complete. That's right. They can, they can get an associate if they choose, and they can stay mm -hmm. with Highlands t to get the bachelor's degree as well. That's right, that's right. Those, those programs are a little over five years old. Um, they've been building steadily over the years, but it's, it's really um, funny how they're still not widely known. Mm. You know, a lot of our students, they didn't realize we had bachelor's degrees, so I'm, I'm glad for this opportunity to put that out there. Um, but, the, but the neat thing about these, they've, um, we started and we, we really looked at the market to see what are going to be some of the higher demand careers and what would be the training that these students would need to be successful. And healthcare industry, of course, is one. We have a bachelor's in healthcare management. Mm. And it's great for students. There are a lot of students who are interested in that industry, but they're not so much into the one-on-one -on -one patient care aspect of it. They're not into body fluids. 
That's pretty much it. Yeah. 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 They I don't want the grossness of it. The gross it. stuff. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Or they go yeah. or maybe they go into nursing and they they see the blood and then they're like, "You know what? This is not what I thought <laughs> it was going to be." But I can sit behind a desk yeah. and I can handle that. Yeah, because uh, you know, when people think of hospitals, they do think of the actual medical care, mm -hmm. but they don't always think about the huge business right. around that uh, mm -hmm. around the actual operating room, the actual right. patient room right. that is essential to keep a hospital running. It is. It right. is. And there's so many different aspects of it. Um, there's the insurance, the finance, uh, marketing, all of these different things. And students getting this uh, BBA, a Bachelor of Business Administration mm -hmm. in Healthcare Management, they cover everything. And it's not even just hospitals. We've had some students that work in veterinary practices, and they come ah. and get this bachelor's because there's, you know, it covers the same thing: healthcare for pets and animals. Ah. You know, so they enjoy that part of it. And there's ah. even insurance in that aspect. Um, we have one student that she's just graduated with her bachelor's in healthcare management, and she's going into our dental hygiene program here because she wants to work at a dental dentist office and be able to run every aspect of the business. So there's a lot of different applications you could use this, right. this for. So it's not a, a, a sense where a student has to have a single career choice identified Yes. because it really prepares them for a whole range of options. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you know what I like to tell students is that um, there is a, there's a good chance that you might be working in a career that does not even exist <laughs> yet. So true. Uh, so um, your education is really preparing you for any number of directions. You don't have to stick, you know, pick on one hard choice and stick mm -hmm. to it. That's exactly right. And we cover in these degrees, students in these bachelor's students will take finance, marketing, uh, management, human resources, so they get a wide range of, ex of experience and knowledge mm -hmm. in this. And the, the healthcare management option is great because I know the, uh, the college has uh, relationships, partnerships mm -hmm. with a number of area hospital, yes. hospitals, individual I guess, and, and hospital corporations. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So there's a lot of opportunities. The students get an opportunity to network. They take an internship if they want to. Um, some of them are already in that field. Um, another aspect of it, one student wanted to get into personal wellness and that type of health care mm. and working for fitness companies. So um, we have formed some partnerships with those type of operations to introduce students to that if, if that's where they want to yeah. go. Well, that's a great bachelor's degree option for for students. What is our other bachelor's? This one is fun. Um, logistics and supply chain. Yeah. And that's something you've been hearing about for the last few years in the new a supply lot. chain issues. A lot, a lot yes. Yeah. And the funny thing is when this first was first introduced as a potential bachelor's degree, um, and I teach economics at the college also, mm -hmm. and so students in my class were coming up and they'd heard about it and they were like, what is this? And it's so hard to explain because it's like, well, it's from the beginning to end, cradle to the grave yeah. in merchandising. Yeah. And they said, okay, but what is that? And I said, but it can be so many different things. Yeah. Um, so they went into it and they looked into it and students have really loved it. And what we've seen happening, especially in the, the Bartow County and the surrounding areas, there's so many companies coming here that um, have a use for that knowledge that the students get. There are lots of employment opportunities and students are very excited by that possibility. Yeah. So uh, I was one of those folks who, when this degree came along, I, I didn't, had no idea what it was, <laughs> logistics and supply chain. Mm -hmm. But as you mentioned, you know, during the pandemic, I learned what it was. Oh yeah. As, as items that I <laughs> was trying to order uh, either couldn't be there or were so delayed right. because of the pandemic. Um, but uh, I understand now at least a, a little that mm -hmm. uh, it takes a, someone who, who is skilled in almost any business 
to make sure that raw materials arrive on time when things are manufactured. They have to make sure that products, when they're made, get to the, st the stores, the customers, mm -hmm. and without logistics and supply chain talent, those important aspects of, of almost any corporation and business just don't happen, and they, ha they have to happen. Right. Um, and I'm guessing that this degree also has a broad range of outcomes for, for, for a student uh, yes. and, and career options when, when they graduate. Oh, yes, yes. We've had um, students go in all types of areas for that. I mean, they learn on the logistics and supply, chi supply side. Uh -huh. They get um, training in warehousing and transportation and those types of things. But again, as with the other one, they also get classes in finance and um, strategic management accounting. They get three different management classes, um, including human resources and, of course, marketing. So they can go really into any field, and many of them do. Some of mm -hmm. them have, have gone into whatever area p piques their interest and in their concentration. So it's, it's a lot of opportunities there for students. And I'm guessing that those st uh, students, students who have this particular focus, uh, I'm thinking there are a lot of jobs out there now. Uh, oh, yeah. Because... Uh, I, you know, the struggle that, that we had over the pandemic mm -hmm. probably uh, has led to quite a few job opportunities for many companies uh, oh now. Yeah. Yes, um, a lot of, there was a lot of folks taking early retirement during the pandemic and those jobs opened up. Mm. And so those were some pretty good high paying jobs. And I have had students come to me, one that was 19 years old and he was offered a plant manager job making $60,000 a year. But he felt out of his element with that, you know? And so he said, uh, Professor Hambrick, I'd like to keep going to school. And I said, well, I think you could. So what we, and I think you should. Mm. So what we've done, we've um, put this program online so that students can still take advantage of these opportunities that have come their way and still work yeah. on their degree. And a lot of these companies will pay for their tuition too, which is a nice, wow. pe nice That's, perk for them. That is wonderful. Oh, yes. yes. Um, I was gonna say, uh, maybe after the show, if, mm -hmm. if you know any high paying jobs that have not been filled, uh, you could maybe let me know about them, you oh, know, yeah. just in case. Absolutely. You never know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Always looking for opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> now, you mentioned, too, I think, um, that uh, st so students who are working already, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes their employers will help them uh, help pay for uh, the degree at Highlands. Um, is it, is it an, are they easy degrees? for students to accomplish while they're working? As a, uh, mm -hmm. It is, right. it is, it's very yeah. easy. And I love now we're offering them in, instead of doing a full semester, which is 16 weeks, we're offering them in eight week, eight week formats. So it's kind of an accelerated program, but students, once they ta take it and get involved in that, they like it. Mm -hmm. So they can graduate sooner. Um, they're, they're all online, so they can take them at their own pace. Mm -hmm. um, and they can take six classes in one semester and do six in the first eight weeks and six, I mean, three in the first eight weeks, three in the second. So that helps them pace things a little bit better. I know, uh, of course, I'm, you, you are too young to remember the quarter system. Oh, but. I do remember it. <laughs> As a student and when I first started teaching, it was yeah. the quarter system. So uh, the quarter system, although it, sometimes seemed rushed, uh, it did allow students to complete a course under a, a limited number of weeks. And for many, especially working students, that, that was helpful for them. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, so these eight week sessions are somewhat similar. They are, they are. And then for students who are, who are iffy about it or anybody that's apprehensive or even some professors that are saying, I don't know if I can condense, it's basically what we do during our summer semester. Right. So summer semester is condensed. So if you can teach during the summer, if you take classes during the mm -hmm. summer, you'll feel completely comfortable in these eight-week sessions. 
Well, we're coming up on our first break here, but when we come back, there are a number of other degree options that students may not know about. Some of them are new to me too. So don't go away. We'll be back with Joy Hambrick right after this. You belong at Georgia Highlands College. As a University System of Georgia College, GHC offers high quality and career focused instruction at a fraction of the cost with over 40 programs to choose from, including eight career targeted bachelor's degrees. With small class sizes and personalized attention, our programs are designed to help you achieve your goals and make a positive impact in your community. So what are you waiting for? You belong at Georgia Highlands College. Welcome back to Community Watch. We're having a conversation with Joy Hambrick, who is the Chair of Business and Professional Studies. Is that right? That's right. At Georgia Highlands College. Mm -hmm. uh, and the first segment, we talked about the two bachelor's programs, yes. currently only two. Yes. Uh, by this afternoon, there could be five or six. Could hopefully. Uh, the two in business. Now there are, there are nine bachelor's programs now at Georgia Highlands overall, but two in business, one in uh, healthcare management, and the other in logistics and supply chain. Yes, that's right. But there are additional degrees, associate degrees, that are in your area mm -hmm. that I wanted us to talk about too. Um, the the one we've had for as long as I can remember is uh, an associate pathway in business administration. Yes. So that's just kind of the the bread and butter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's still, I mean, even over these however many years. Uh, it's still performing essential mm -hmm. academic needs for people who want to go into business. Oh, it is, absolutely. Yeah. You get all of the basics you need and they can go into business. We have a lot of small business owners that um, they've already started their business, but they just wanna learn accounting, economics, all of those types of things, statistics, data management, and so they can certainly come and this associate's degree equips them for that. Or if there's a degree they're interested in transferring to another um, university, they certainly are ready to do that as well. It's a good degree. Well, uh, I know it, it just from being an advisor for quite a while, mm -hmm. uh, that degree is etched in my brain. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like I know those courses. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I can, you know when, when a student comes to me needing to be advised in business, I got this, I got this, I can mm -hmm. this. So it, uh, and that is true with the business administration pathway. Right. But you've got some new ones. We do. So I'm having to learn some new things. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about, about those. Okay. All right, so you pick one, because I don't, I don't know them well enough to even bring them up. Well, let's start with financial technology, FinTech. Now see, uh, FinTech, I assumed it had something to do with fish. That's what I always say. Yeah. I think of that Jimmy Buffett song about fins to the left, fins to the right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be hearing that all day now. I know. Every time somebody says that, I get <laughs> hungry to go to a seafood restaurant. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, FinTech is financial technology. Yes. What is that? It is really, um, it, it's, it's also a wide encompassing, and there are several different directions a student could go with that. When you hear financial technology, the difference is people immediately think, well, I'm going to be sitting in a room coding all day. I don't want to do that. That's not who I am. Mm -hmm. But that's actually not it at all. We have accountants that work in that industry, um, the finance, strategic financial management that works in that industry, banking, all kinds of things like that. And so I always tell when people say, what is it? I ask them to pull out their phone, which I won't necessarily ask you to do that. Yeah. But if you look on your phone, I said, you've got a banking app. That's financial technology. You've probably bought something off Amazon and then you pay for it using financial technology. So there's all different, the, the, there's new pay and for that some people like to use to over purchase things like myself and help <laughs> the economy that way. Um, but then the neat thing too about that, 70% 
of the United States financial transactions go through Columbus, Georgia. So the opportunities here for that to work in this industry are just limitless. Say that again. Uh huh. Seventy percent of the United States financial transactions run through Columbus, Georgia. What? It's it's true. I thought it was a lie too. I looked it <laughs> up. It's true. Why? It's off the path, I guess. Uh, I mean, it was unta. You know, it's one of those places like yeah. when in the banking industry when they pick Charlotte, North Carolina, of all places to uh, run all the you know to move all the banks to. It just kind of picked that place and. Uh, I guess the land was cheap and it was directed. All right, so this associate pathway mm -hmm. um, prepares students to work in any number of ways yes. in the financial technology world, mm -hmm. um, many of which I couldn't explain to you if I had to. <laughs> um, but. Um, Probably students know a lot more about it already going in. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, do students learn how to? Uh, is it a management degree? Is it a, a technical? Degree? I guess it's uh, it's both. It could, it is yeah. it is that's a great question. Yeah. Um, it is it's both because yeah. they can work and then different corporations have these sections of their company. Home Depot, Walmart, different places, Amazon, different mm. places that have financial technology departments. So it is, it's both. It can be management, it can, you can go into data processing, you can, you can do the coding if that's what uh, strikes your fancy, and, um, or you can do the uh, financial planning. Uh, you could also go to Wall Street, stockbrokers, there's all kinds of things like that you could do with yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it, it sounds like a, a, certainly a degree for the time. Oh yes, um, and and I would guess also um, that we have individuals who are already in these businesses who mm -hmm. might benefit from going back to right. to get these degrees. Well, in another way, it can be used if they do choose to do a bachelor's in, say, logistics and supply chain, for example. They could take some of these fintech financial technology classes to add to it and then have that specialization. So that could go on their resume and would make them very appealing to uh, um, employers. That's great. Yeah. Well, what else have we got? We have entrepreneurship. Ah. So for those who want to start their own business, and we have so many students that want to. When I teach economics, they all come to me and they say, I'm interested in starting my own business. So we have this. This is an associate's degree, and it sets them up nicely to go into a bachelor's program or anything like that. But in this one, not only will they learn the accounting, economics, business communications, all of those things, but they have courses where they will develop a business plan, do strategic marketing, things like that. So things that will equip them to help start their own business. And there's a mentorship program that they can choose to be involved in if they want to, where they're paired up with someone, maybe not necessarily in the same business, but similar enough that they can help guide them through that path. You know, I, I didn't know that, but Gosh, that is so smart. I mean, mm -hmm. um, and students may not realize how essential a mentor relationship is in, in getting, getting started and getting, mm -hmm. getting there because uh, you really need a connection with somebody who has gone through that experience and, yes. and knows, you know, what to avoid as well as what to do. I mean, uh, that's so smart to have that mm -hmm. aspect as part of this degree. Um, I hope I hope those students take advantage of that because that is just, uh, I, I think, essential. Most of them have. In fact, I would, I would want to say all of them have, but I couldn't say that for sure. I don't uh -huh. teach those courses, but I, I do believe at least the majority of them have. Mm -hmm. And they found it so rewarding. We do a Mentor, appreci mentor mentee appreciation dinner ah. at, the, at the end of the spring. And um, so it's really very rewarding because you get to come and see the relationships there and, and you see how these two have built a relationship mm -hmm. and staying in touch after the student graduates and the student, it just really gives them uplifted and helps them out a lot to see what pitfalls to avoid and um, how to navigate certain pathways they may not realize are there. Right. So right. it's, it's really good for a student to have someone to go to to ask these questions. And I would think, uh, I would think this pathway and entrepreneurship would be wise for 
students who are interested in starting something on their own because uh, you know, other than just the, the passion that's required to start a business of your own, mm -hmm. there are things, there are things yes. that you need to know uh, <laughs> to make true. it work. Right. Uh, and I, and would, it would be a lot nicer to know those things before you just discover them along the way. I mean, I, mm -hmm. uh, it, so it, it seems like a really wise degree to take. I think so. Yeah. I think so. And, um, you know, a, a lot of people would come along, and especially younger people, and they have these great ideas, and they're passionate about them, and they say, I think I'm going to start a business with this. And technology helps them to do that these days. They're in a great position, not so much when I was young. If I want to start a business, it was going to take a lot more. Mm -hmm. But you can get your name out there really easily these days. Yeah. Um, but then there are other things you don't know. There's the tax implications and do I incorporate, do I not? You know, those right. type of legal questions. And we do have a class in uh, the environment of business which covers business law, which mm. is helpful for students. Now, uh, I'm assuming they automatically get three credit hours if they spell entrepreneurship correctly. <laughs> Yes, and I might need that myself. <laughs> I'm sitting there at the whiteboard writing that, go, oh, do, 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 yeah. and I have to really go back uh, in my memory it's bank. It's a tough one. It's it is, tough isn't one. it? It'd be mm -hmm. great for a spelling bee. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, these associate pathways uh, that you've mentioned, we, we have the, the, the business administration, mm -hmm. the fintech, financial technology, and the entrepreneurship. Uh, should a student decide they want a bachelor's after completing one of these associate degrees? Um, I'm assuming that there are places in the area or, or elsewhere in Georgia mm -hmm. um, where they might complete a bachelor's if they want to transfer after that point. Yes. But I'm thinking um, like in the entrepreneurship, just as an example for someone depending on on what kind of business they they are starting or wanting to start I would think that a move at that point to a bachelor's in logistics might be the thing to do because mm -hmm. uh, you know if they're if their business is successful and and they get to a point where they need to know how mm -hmm. things move from place to place and be part of that. I would think that that would work well together. Oh yeah, you're 100% right. And mm -hmm. in fact, I just had a student, she took my economics class and she's going to get her um, associates with us. But then she was thinking she wants to open a bakery. Mm. And she was asking about the logistics and supply chain and the more we talked about that, I said, but you've got to know how to source from your suppliers. How do you store things? you know, warehousing, distribution, all of that stuff. So there's a lot of good information in that degree. Um, we go farther into the marketing aspect of it, which is something that is oh really gosh, yes. crucial for yeah. a small business owner. You've got to know how to get your name out there. Right. So you're 100% right on yeah. that. All right, we, we have just a little time left. Uh, what have we left out? Well, there's a new one in the pipeline that oh I'm very gosh. excited about. Okay. And hopefully, we are hoping, fingers crossed, that that one will be go through all the hoops it jumps through and everything soon. But that's a BBA in digital marketing. Digital marketing. Yes. A bachelor's level yes. in digital marketing. Yes. That's great. Isn't that wonderful? So uh, maneuvering social stuff, all the stuff that I don't oh, understand yes. how to work. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I could not market a business today <laughs> to save my life. I can uh, do it in theory, but practice is different. So uh, students need to look for that soon. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, we are almost out of time. I want to thank you so much for talking with us, but um, how do students reach you if they have questions about any of these programs? Mm. at Georgia Highlands? Um, email is a great way to reach me. I'm in the Highlands directory. If you um, go to the Highlands website and then look at School of Business or just search my name or look in the directory, you'll find me. But it's easy. It's jhambrick at highlands.edu. So you can reach out that way. And I would love to talk with anyone and give them okay. information. Great. Yeah. And if any of you are interested in getting into Highlands 
soon, uh, please reach out to me, jhershey at highlands.edu. Thank you again, and thank you all for being with us, and we'll see you next time on Community Watch.